Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Maria Valletta. We're here at Samuels & Sons Seafood, purveyor of the finest seafood in the Mid-Atlantic. Joining me today is Chef Davis Dinick and resident marine biologist, Joe Laspergata. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, for Th thank you Chef. What are you going to be making for us today? I'm going to be making some uh, verlasso salmon. Uh, I'm going to be searing that up with some thyme and serving that with a red wine butter sauce and some chanterelle mushrooms. That sounds lovely. Will you get to work and Joe and I will talk a little bit about Samuels and Son. Well, we've been in our new facility, state of the art facility, for four years now. We invite all our chefs to come in and take advantage of it so they can go right from our coolers, take the freshest fish in the area, come here, work with it, and de develop their menus. Thank you, and we'll see you later for the tasting. Oh, very good. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Chef Davis. Hello, Maria. Tell me where we are in the process of this recipe. I'm just cutting down my portions now so we can make a few even portions here. I see you have a beautiful array of herbs here uh -huh. and some of my favorite mushrooms, chanterelle. Some beautiful chanterelles that we carry here at Samuels. What We're going to we clean a little bit of thyme here. I can help you with that if you'd like. Certainly. So we can season up this our fish. This is beautiful thyme. And season up a little bit of salt and pepper. I really enjoy working with the Verlasso salmon because it is a closer replication of wild salmon. It's still available year round farm-raised. It has the nice uh, essential oils, the omega-3 oils that are still developed in there. However, it doesn't have the thick ribbons of fat that you usually see in a farm-raised salmon. I'm just going to heat up a pan here with a little bit of oil and butter. Mmm, that smells really good. Actually, before we start the salmon, I'm going to get my potatoes rolling okay. so we can get our pom puree happening. I'm going to peel a few potatoes, dice them up, and get them in some water, boiling. Okay, Chef, I'm going to put the rest of the potatoes in that you chopped. Looks good, Maria. Thank into you. the boiling water. Sure. I'll turn that up. So I'm going to split these chanterelles. Chanterelles and thyme. And butter. And butter. <laughs> While you're doing the thyme. Before we go in, okay. I'm add some butter. <laughs> like I said, butter mm -hmm. makes them better. And just a touch of oil. And we're going to let that butter brown up just a touch before we add in the mushroom. Okay. Little noisette. Now we're getting a little bit of brown on this butter. I'm going to go in with the chanterelles. And once they're in the pan, we're going to leave it on a really high heat and not move them around too much. Okay. And why, why that method? Tell me. Uh, we really want to get a nice caramelization on the mushrooms. That will really bring out the flavor. Get a little bit of uh, browning action happening on those mushrooms, and it really gets them really nice and crispy, and the flavor comes out really nicely. That's a good tip. See, I've always moved them around, probably way too fast. Yeah, actually, a lot of times when you're searing in the high heat, you don't want to move the food around a whole lot. Uh, and the more of a sear you get on it, the easier it's going to release from the pan. We're going to season up some of the fish with a little bit of the thyme. You can oil it as well. Just a touch on top would be fine. Okay. See that you've got some radishes here. I do. We're going to make a, a small salad with radishes and radish sprouts and a little bit of truffle oil to go over top of the plate when we're done Ooh. as a garnish. So I just cut these radishes thin on a mandolin and I'm going to julienne them with a knife. Oh, it smells different. Yeah, black truffle has a little bit different flavor than the white truffle. It still has the aromatic notes to it. I'm starting to get a little bit of brown color here. You definitely pan see that. Salmon. So we're going to go into the pan and take the thicker pieces first. So now you took the skin off the salmon. I saw you I slice that off. nicely right off there. Can you cook it with the skin on for this recipe as well? It certainly well? can. It's cooking very quickly. They are. Once I have a sear on this side, on the herb side, wow. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. That is a beautiful golden color. And we're going to move the fish over to plate and let that rest. Mmm, that salmon has a wonderful aroma. All right, potatoes are on their way, huh? So we have the potatoes riced. I'm going to add in the chives, and then I already have some cream and butter hot here so we can keep everything hot together. So all we have left now is the sauce. I have a pan here getting hot. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of red wine first. Take it off the stove before so you get add the pan your alcohol. Nice and hot. Oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> before you add your alcohol, you want to take it off the stove. I'm going to add in some of the chicken stock here. This has already been reduced a little bit, so it's come down a touch from where it's been. Ooh, that smells really good. And we're going to bring this down a little bit. And if you wouldn't mind getting me a small spoonful of mustard, we'll add this in. Okay. And the small whip over there. So I'm going to add the mustard in. If you want to whip that in. So as you stir that, I'm going to start adding in some whipped butter. This butter I put in the mixer for a little while with a little bit of ice. I'm going to start my plate with a little bit of potatoes. Add on a couple pieces of salmon. Did I hear somebody request a little bit of wine with this dish? <laughs> oh, Absolutely. and my favorite. 
You're my hero, right from Joe. from the cellars. <laughs> That's fantastic. I didn't know you guys had a cellar on premises as well. <laughs> it's a little known fact. That's for another time. A little bit of everything, huh? A little bit of the chanterelle mushrooms on top, and then some of my radish truffle mix. Perfection. We've got a tower of beauty there. And we're going to go around with some of the sauce. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Chef, I'll give this to you. You've done all oh, the hard thank work. Thank you. You'll toast with us. Thank You're you, welcome. Joe. Looking forward to tasting it, shall we? Certainly. Let's. Don't forget to try your wine with it as well. <laughs> and the mushrooms. Yes, I'm going to get a little bit of everything. And the potatoes, the radish. Mmm. Mmm. That is wonderful. Mmm. That salmon has that mm -hmm. Chef Davis an never, excellent flavor. Yeah, Chef Davis never disappoints. Well, thank you, gentlemen. It's a pleasure thank to you. be here. Thank you for coming. Thank Maria, you, Verlasso, thank you very much. Chef Davis, Joe, Samuels and Son. This is a beautiful place, and I hope to be back again. To see today's recipe and all of the recipes featured on the Chef's Kitchen, log on to chefskitchen.tv.